You see, this is the reason I do not want to come here with you. I can't just sit here and wait endlessly for the nurse to come attend to you. What kind of rubbish is this? Honey, please, we just got here. And the nurse said we should give her some minutes. Maybe she's attending to other patients. It's okay. Just don't tell me to bring you here next time. If you can't find your way here, that is your problem. That your problem doesn't mean I have to become your driver that will take you everywhere. Okay, I've heard. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. In fact, I don't like all this rubbish. What is all this? What is my mission here now? It's not as if I am the doctor or one of the nurses that will attend to you. You this woman just like disturbing me. I just hope you don't kill me one day. Because this is becoming too much. Ha! I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. Nurse! Yes? I've been calling you since. Didn't you hear me? You were? Yes! Didn't you hear me shout, hey, hey, hey! Sorry, sir. My name is not hey, hey, hey. I am Nurse Abigail. Whatever. Can you attend to this woman? No. Look, I have waited long enough and I have more important places to go. Sir. You got in here about two or three minutes ago and since then you've been complaining and shouting like you're quarreling with someone. Was that what I asked you? Can you attend to this woman? No, I can't. Why can't you? Because the nurse who has a file has just gone in to prepare to take her temperature. So if you would just calm down and stop shouting, she'll be out in the middle. How long will it take a nurse to prepare to take care of a patient? Honey, please be patient. You will you shut up? Look, if the nurse does not come out in the next two minutes, I will leave you here. Rubbish. Um, yes. Okay, madam, please follow me. Okay. You better get up and follow her now. And don't waste any more of my time. If you do, you will not meet me here by the time you come out. Just take it Sorry. No, city. Let me have a cup. I'll attend to her. You just stay here. Um. Please hurry up. I don't have the whole day. Sorry, madam. Just take it And you walk, walk, walk fast and follow her. The pregnancy is developing very well and the symptoms you complain to me are that of stress. You can't continue to stress yourself the way you used to before you got pregnant. You have to eat well and get a lot of rest. Thank you, nurse. Thank you. However, you have to engage yourself in some activities to keep fit and healthy, but it must not be done to a point of fatigue. Okay, thank you very much, nurse. If that's all, I have to start going now before my husband comes in here and drags me out of here. Mm. Eh, eh, madam, it's not like it's my business, so, but, you know, out of curiosity, I need to find out, is that man at the reception really your husband? Yes. Why? The way he talks to you each time you come here together, it's annoying. He talks to you and shouts at you and disrespects you publicly. It's not nice. Mister, that's the way he is. I've learned to tolerate him the way he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you don't have any problem with the way he talks to you, then I guess it's none of my business. Okay, anyway, thank you for your concern. But on the second thoughts, madam, <laughs> I think it's my business. You are my patient and your general well-being should be my concern. You know, it's not nice the way your husband treats you publicly. It's not nice. You're his pregnant wife and deserve all the love and care. It's not nice. Well, he used to be a very kind and loving person, you know. But he changed all of a sudden after marriage and I really don't know what to do except to keep on tolerating him. I am not saying it's wrong to tolerate your husband for the sake of peace in the marriage. But he needs to be reminded that you are his wife and not his maid. If you don't curb him now, it might degenerate into something worse. You know, I just hate to see men treat their wives like trash. I hate it. Well, it's not as if I enjoy the way he shouts at me, but... I really don't know what to do except to keep on tolerating him and hope that one day he'll become the man I once loved and married. Hmm. You have to stop making him assume you are comfortable with the way he talks and disrespects you publicly. It's not nice. You are his wife and not his maid. 
He needs to be reminded and you deserve some respect. It's not his fault he doesn't respect you anymore. It's your fault. you when I came in? I was told. I was busy with another patient in the ward. So how are you feeling today? Wow, better but... Woman, what do you think you're doing? How can you keep me here for that long and you feel you can still come here and chat with them? Honey, please calm down. I'm trying to find out my next appointment. You better hurry up. If you don't, I will get out of this place and you have to find your way home. Fine, you can go. I'll find my way home. And you really should please stop shouting at me. It's so uncalled for. Eh? You heard me. No, it's like I was saying, I'll be back in two days' time, but I might call you if I get any unusual feeling. No problem. Just take your drugs and take very good care of yourself. No problem. Don't stress yourself, okay? Thank, Thank you very well. much. Have a nice day. I'm ready. Yeah. You can leave now. Uh, okay. <laughs> this woman is a very good student. Ah! I like her so much. How do you mean? Her husband is always shouting at her like a kid. So I gave her a quick lecture on self-esteem in there. That is the reason she could talk to her husband the way she just did. Must have a girl. It is not your business. Okay, that was the reason why you asked me to allow you to attend to her. Hmm? Must have a girl. I hope you did not advise this woman to talk back at her husband. Because you know too wrong to not make it right. I just told her to remind her husband she's his wife and not his maid. I still think it's none of your business. I mean, you have no right to poke your nose into her marriage. If she allows it to continue like that, he might just hit her someday. It is not your business, Abigail. Okay, in case you have forgotten, you are a nurse and not a marriage counselor. Thank you. If helping a fellow woman is wrong, I don't want to be right. I hope this will not cause problem in that woman's home. Let's pray. Abigail, she's very terrible. Hello, nurse. I was not around when you brought your wife in for treatment, but she's responding very well. Yes, she is. I just saw that myself. Okay. She said she was the organizer of typhoid fever. Oh, yes, nothing serious, no cause for alarm. So she's not pregnant? <laughs> no, she's not. This is not good. When she started throwing up this morning and complaining of dizziness, I just assumed those were symptoms of pregnancy. I understand you're anticipating the child so much, but God's time is the best. Nos, I really need to know. Is it that my wife cannot get pregnant, or what exactly is the cause of the delay? Our marriage will be four years next month. What makes you think your wife is the cause for the delay? You might be the cause for all I know. That is not possible. It is possible, Mr. Patrick. You know, we have similar cases like yours, and most men are quick to jump into the conclusion that the problem lies with their wife during the course of child delay. In my case, I'm not assuming. I have confirmation beyond every reasonable doubt. <laughs> what kind of confirmation, if I may ask? Some members of my family and friends advised me to try another woman, and I did just that. Hmm? Right now, as so we speak, another woman is pregnant for me. No. What other confirmation do I need more than that? You had an extramarital affair, and the woman is pregnant for you? Yes. Hmm? Now you understand what I mean when I said I am sure I'm not the cause of the delay. So does your wife know about this? No, it's a secret. And I do not intend telling her until she delivers. I really need you people to carry out all the necessary tests on my wife and family because of this delay. I love my wife, and I do not want the issue of childlessness to bring about separation between us. You love your wife so much, and yet you got another woman pregnant. And worst of all, without her consent, and you're not even planning on telling her. Oh, you love her so much, eh? Just carry out all the necessary tests on her, and take good care of her. I'll come up to see the doctor when he's around. The man seems to be forgetting his vow for better for worse. And the annoying part is that he's not planning to tell his wife until the other lady delivers. Men are heartless. 
and he seems he loves his wife so deeply. But I wonder why he allowed family and friends pressure push him into such despicable act. May God not let person enter a eh, problem for husband household. Eh? So on family no be better family at all. Now how to scatter your house? Now they go to find. Ah. And you know, this might render the, the wife miserable for the rest of her life. I really wish the wife could find out about the other woman somehow, you know, before it's too late. I'm on the same frame of mind. Allowing the woman to find out somehow before it's too late. No, Sabigal, what do you mean by trying to make the wife find out somehow before it's too late? I hope you're not by any chance trying to tell the wife about it. Of course! You don't expect me to keep such vital information away from her. I'm a woman and I don't think I want anyone to keep such information away from me. What's that, big girl? Hmm? Yes, I said I want the woman to know somehow about the other woman. But I didn't mean you should be the one to tell her. Ah, why now? You don't mean anything. Sabrina helps you want to help the woman. Thank you, Biliki. The earlier the woman knows the better for her. So she can stop trusting her husband foolishly. I still insist you don't make the mistake of telling the wife. That woman was brought in for medical attention and that is what we owe her. Mm -hmm. Come. Do you believe in the law of karma? What goes around comes back around. Oh, please leave the law of karma out of this. Why, why, why do you always want to provide solution to every problem? In fact, what do you think you are? Jaguar? Please mind your business so that you won't get yourself into trouble. Okay, but the golden rule of living says do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Keep vital information away from them and they will keep vital information away from you somehow. Yes. Not true, because if they're good, maybe person hell a person. Uh -uh. Biliki, mm -hmm. this meeting is over now. Go back to work. Go back to work. Get out from here. Move. Get out. Biliki, huh? I was wondering if you could do me a little favor. Eh, yeah, which favor? Since we both share the same view on telling Miss Patrick about her husband's secret, mm. I was wondering if you could just go and tell her. Eh? Tell her what? About her husband's secret now, that he impregnated another woman. Ah, uh -uh. Sabina, you demand tell the secret. Why you want to make her go tell her? Why you not go tell her yourself? I just think it's best you tell her. You know, the nurses think I'm a gossip. And if I tell her, it will be classified as an act of busybody. But if you tell her, it will be classified as an act of helping a fellow woman. So, you see the difference? No, I don't see any difference. You could even better say, now nah, you go tell the woman everything. Because now nah, you, they like talk everything where your eyes see and the one where you hear. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, Nasabi, I beg, not disturb me. I dare busy now. <laughs> what is so difficult in giving out simple information? It won't cost you anything. Just go in there, tell the woman what you know. Simple. Eh, yeah. so, now nah, my mouth, you want me to hear, say, Tisa, you give her a student belly abi. Ah, hold on. So that if the man come ask the woman, say, for where she here, she go come to say that me tell her, doctor go come sack me, say that baby what they do for work now. Ah, me and if you tell her many things, make you go tell her. I beg. I'm going to tell her, 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 I'm going
What are you insinuating, Nurse Abigail? Is there anything my husband told you that you think I should know? No, nothing at all. Don't be my mouth to go here as the teacher I give students, Bele. I said nothing. I brought your medication. Madam, are you all right? No. Nurse Abigail just told me something very disturbing and confusing. Nurse Abigail? Yes. Madam, please tell me. What did she tell you? Is it about your husband's secrets? You know about it too? Yes. <sighs> Abigail. We want Nurse Abigail not to tell you. Tell me, is it her business if your old man impregnates another woman? I will make sure I report myself girl to the doctor so that next time she will always mind her business. Did I hear you correctly? Did you just say my husband impregnated another woman? Yes. Was that not what Nosabi girl told no. you? As a matter of fact, she didn't tell me exactly what she knew. She was only speaking in parables. My husband impregnated another woman. Um. Madam, wait. Does that mean to tell me that you didn't know about this? You know what? I am discharging myself right away. I am going home to meet him. No, 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 no. Madam, you can't do this, please. please. Just try to stop me. You can't discharge yourself because you're not properly okay, okay, okay? Please, just take it easy. Madam, no, you can't. You will not... tell me who is okay and who is not okay. It's my job. I need to tell you. Madam, please, don't do this because you're not okay. You are not in any position to tell me if I'm okay or not. It's my how we are talking about here. And I know when I'm fine and when I'm not fine. Madam, you know what? I am walking through that door and don't even try to stop me. Because if you do, if you do, eh, I promise I'm going to bite you. Madam, try it. Please, you can't. Don't touch me. If you touch me again, if you touch me again, eh, I will show that I'm not okay. Rubbish. Nasty. Uh, are you sure that woman is mentally okay? Nasty, what happened? What sort of a stupid question is that? You're the cause of everything. You see, it's, it's your fault. Uh, How is it my fault? You just coming in from giving a patient her treatment and she's coming out almost throwing you out of her way and telling me it's my fault. But Sabi girl, did it warn you not to tell that woman anything about her husband's secrets? Did she tell you I told her anything? I went in there to give her medication and I discovered she was looking so unhappy. And you know, as caring as I am, I asked her what was wrong and she told me no Sabi girl told her something about her husband. And I assumed she told her everything already so I mistakenly told her her husband's secrets. What? What's it? Since when did you become a busybody yourself? No, sorry, sir. Don't you get it? It was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Oh, God. Both of you. Get ready to explain to the doctor when he resumes later today. What's my own now? She is the one that told her what she did. I did not. What's my own? Abigail. You see what your busybody has gotten me into. You've seen it. It is you that is a busybody yourself. You just didn't realize that. You are the greatest busybody I've ever seen. Ah, uh, look at you. You see why your kindness has gotten you into. Don't worry. Go, go. 